welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. This video is a collaboration with the host as Crafty Lenny. It is the Summer On My Mind DIY Hop. There will be a link in the description box for the next person in the hop. There is also a $80 giveaway, and I will tell you more about all of that right after this first DIY. Welcome, welcome everybody. Okay, so I'm so super excited about these DIYs. I'm excited about this collaboration, and I cannot wait for this video to start. So let's get started. All right. This first one, I have got one of the Simply Blessed calendars uh, from the Dollar Tree. I've also got one of these new round serving trays. Have y'all seen these yet? Let me know in the comments if you've seen these in your Dollar Trees yet. I was so excited when I found it. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you all a little trick here. If you've been watching my channel for very long, you've probably seen me do this before. But if not, this is such a cool trick with your heat gun you can take off the stickers lickety split all right now i'm taking some black chalkboard paint that i actually pick up at the dollar tree and it works really really well and then i found this really nice um brush at the dollar tree also so i'm giving it a shot all right now i'm just gonna go in and paint i was just gonna paint around the edges of this because we're gonna be putting a black um, paper down but i just went ahead and painted the whole thing i mean whatever i was already painting it so might as well but i just gave this one good coat that's all it took this is such great coverage paint that literally that's all it took was one coat now i'm gonna take my um simply blessed calendar and i found a page that i wanted to do i love this one the be kind y'all know me anything with kindness in it i love it <laughs> so I'm just cutting it to fit inside there. I did want to make sure that I cut out the hole that was in the uh, calendar page. So I did go ahead and do that. And then I just start cutting it down until I can get it to fit. So like I'll place it, you know, see where it needs to be trimmed a little more, place it again. Then, you know, maybe another little spot needs to be trimmed until I finally get it where it will fit nicely in there. So I just continue to trim. Now, once I've gotten this trimmed out and I'm ready to uh, put my glue on, I'm going to take some Aileen's Tacky Glue. I love this glue. I totally have gotten to where I love it more than Mod Podge. It just works really, really well, and it does not leave the crinkles or the, the creases. I make sure and smooth it out super, super good, um, making sure that, that, you know, none's thicker in one spot than it is in the other or anything like that. I just make sure that I've got it on my paper or whatever it is that I'm gluing, just really, really evenly um, smeared across there. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just smearing it out all over my page. I'm then going to place it right in the middle of that serving tray. Just kind of pushing it in real good, making sure to push down all the edges super good. Making sure all that is pushed down. Now I did have a little bit of glue seep out, so I just wipe that with my fingers. No big deal. It dries clear anyway, so totally simple. All right, now I'm going to take two of these tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to place these right on the bottom. I'm working super fast at this so that I can set it up and kind of let it dry sitting up, standing up. That way I know I've got my tumbling, tumbling tower blocks in the right spot. So it kept wanting to kind of still push over. So I actually took some hot glue and just added just a little seam of hot glue right across the bottom and then stood it up again. Made sure it was nice and even. Also made sure that I did not glue it to the table. <laughs> and that's it. Too stinking pretty. Ah, I love it. y'all so i wanted to stop right here and just give you a little bit of information on this collaboration that we're doing today so this is hosted by crafty lenny 
It is going to be the Summer on My Mind Hop, and I am so super excited about it. I feel so honored to be a part of this with all of these lovely ladies. They are so talented, so this is just so awesome. Crafty Lenny also has a DIY channel where she does the Crafty Lenny show every Saturday at 7 p.m., and if y'all have not watched that, you definitely need to because hilarious, okay? <laughs> all right, now, to enter in the giveaway, you're just gonna watch all eight videos, go click the link, to the next creator in the description box. So there will be a link in the description box of every video for the next person. You're gonna hop to each each video. So while you're there, leave a comment on each video and that will enter you into the giveaway. It's an $80 PayPal giveaway. So y'all be sure you do that. All right. All right, moving right along. DIY number two. So for this one, I've got this little sign that I got from the Dollar General store. I've had this for several years. I was just ready to do something different with it. I've also got some of the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got these little pails, so stinking cute, from the Dollar General for a buck a piece, y'all. Too stinking cute. I mean, they're cute on their own, but this DIY turns out fantastic. I cannot wait for y'all to see this. All right, so that little beautiful sign was made out of metal, and I just pulled that off, came off super simple. I'm then taking those tumbling tire blocks, and I'm going to place those all along the edge of this entire sign. So the frame of this, I'm going all the way around this with the tumbling tire blocks. And I lucked out because it, it just so happened that it fit like just right as far as um, the the blocks and the edges and everything. Everything fit just right. I did have to cut one uh, tumbling tower block with my miter shears and I just snipped it right in half. But other than that, this was super, super simple. All right, now I'm taking my white chalk paint and also a chip brush that I get at the Dollar General store. I pick up these chip brushes at the Dollar General. Just getting a little bit of paint on my brush, wiping it back off, and then I'm going to dry brush this entire piece, inside and out. These tumbling tower blocks, I've worked with them several times, and I really do enjoy working with them. The paint just takes to them so well. Look how pretty that is. They dry brush so, so well. And as you notice there, um, those tumbling tower blocks are longer than that frame, and I wanted it that way. That way, when we sit it up, it kind of stands up a little taller. So did that on purpose. All right, now, taking some um, scrapbook paper that I got from the Hobby Lobby, and I just laid that sign, I, the, the inside portion of that sign, I just popped it out of the frame, laid it down on my um, paper there, and just cut it with my rotary tool. Now, I needed a little extra for the bottom, but I still wanted the pattern to match up, so that's what I'm doing here. I just matched up my paper. I'm then going to take the rotary tool and cut it out. So that way, when we go to glue this down, I'm able to get the pattern back together and you won't even know that it's actually two pieces of paper there <laughs> instead of one. So just trimming that out real good. I just kind of run my finger along the edge of it and that kind of shows me the, the indention there where to cut. Um, I am taking some Aileen's Tacky Glue once again and we're just going to cover this entire board with it, smoothing it out really well, smearing it in real good. I place down that smaller piece first. That way my longer piece can overlap. Just get a little more of the glue on my brush. I lay down my longer piece and then add a little bit of that Aileen's Tacky Glue to the top of that paper. Now, I don't have to go over this. No need to go back over the top of it or anything like that. It's ready to go. All right, now I'm just gonna take some hot glue, go right along the edge of the inside of this frame and then pop my sign right down in there. Hold it into place. I'm then taking these little tags um, that I found on Amazon. They're like vintage um, handle tags. I don't know what they're called, but anyways, they are vintage. And they're not, they're very inexpensive, about 10 or $15 on Amazon. So I'm just putting those on each side of this. We're kind of making a tray out of this. So putting those on each side. We're then gonna take those pails, pop those in the middle of this tray, I added um, a Dollar General bag to each pail just so I wouldn't have to use so many rocks. And then I took two bags of rocks from the Dollar Tree and just filled in those pails. The black rocks, I think, really pop on this. So when I went to pick it up, I realized like, hmm, that's probably going to fall through. That's not going to hold. So I decided to add some more hot glue just to really, really give this some support. So I'm just adding a, I'm talking about a crap ton of hot glue I put on this, y'all. 
really put it to it. But I added in my hot glue. I then took some tumbling tower blocks, and I don't know if this really helped or not, but I just felt like it was just a little bit extra protection. It would be something else for that glue to hold to. So I did add the tumbling tower blocks all, all along the edges. Just, just a way to try to get this to hold together better. And then I went back in and added more hot glue. So this dude's got a ton on it, but it's okay because it's on the bottom. Nobody will ever see this. Matter of fact, I could probably cover this with craft paper um, if I really wanted to get technical about it. But that's all I did to this, and it's so gorgeous. DIY number three. So for this one, I have got two of the um, trays from the Dollar Tree like we used before and also a candlestick. First thing I did was glue these two trays together, butt to butt. Um, there was like a little lip all the way around it, as you can see there, where I'm going with the hot glue. So I just added the hot glue on that lip, <clears throat> hoping that it was going to stick. And it did. It worked out perfect. Literally stuck just fine. It's good. All right, now I'm taking some half beads that I got off of Amazon, and I'm just going to go all the way around this. Right where the seam is, where the two trays meet, I'm just adding my half beads. And I love the look of this, y'all. Oh my goodness, I love it. This turned out, this was so easy, first of all. And it turns out super cute. Like, love this. I'm just in love with those scalloped edges on the tray. <laughs> I love those trays. Y'all don't forget to let me know in the comments. Have you found these trays in uh, your, your Dollar Tree? I took that candlestick and glued it to the bottom of our trays. I then took my white Waverly chalk paint and just went over all the white on this. Inside of the scalloped edges, the outside the inside of the tray. I just didn't like that shiny white look to it, so I decided I would um, do the white chalk paint. I should have done it before I put the half beads on, but I forgot, so I just took a baby wipe and went back over those, but that was it. This is too stinking cute. All right, y'all, how about a bonus DIY? Now, this one is super simple, but I just wanted it to go with this collection. I thought that it would look great with all the other stuff that we already have, that we've already made. So the first thing I did was take that um, paper outer uh, section there, portion there off of the books. I took all of that out off. Now, look at this one. This one was almost already distressed. Compared to the other ones, like, that one looks like it's already distressed. But I wanted my um, pages, like, the edges of my pages to be distressed. So, what I did was take some Antique Wax by Waverly, put it on a baby wipe, wiped it onto my uh, pages, and then took a clean baby wipe and wiped it back off. Super duper simple, y'all. 
super simple. Now, I did make sure to get up close to the binding there, um, just so it looked natural, you know, so um, it was darker at that binding than it was anywhere else. But this is so simple to do. And I ended up doing this to all of the books, actually, all, all three of them, just going through, adding my um, antique wax, wiping it back off with a baby wipe, going through all of them. And they, they distressed really, really well. All right, now, these books were perfect just like they were. So, what I did was I painted the the mineral color one with my mineral color chalk paint, and then I ended up painting the front of it. But I just painted the binding of the black one. I, all I did was paint over the words. The white one, I painted over the words and then painted the top. That's it. Now, our books are ready to go. I've got this... Um, Buffalo check burlap that I picked up at Walmart and I've already used like half of this roll y'all but it was such a big roll of burlap and it was only like six bucks six seven dollars something like that but I wrapped it around my books just to see how long I needed uh, my, my piece to be here cut it off now it does have a seam down the edge so we're going to cut that off also. But what I did was just start at one one of the lines and just follow that line all the way down. That way I could make sure, you know, my ribbon, or it's not ribbon, but you know what I mean, what we're going to be wrapping around the books, just to make sure it was nice and straight and even. So I just followed that line. And then, of course, if I want to use it again, I, I wanted it to be even. But there's like a like a, um, a surged edge to these. So I just cut that off also because we're going to go back and pull out the strings and fray this really good. So I just cut off that surged edge, went in, started pulling. I just pulled like two from the edge and then pulled them all the way down this. And it just frays out the edges so, so good. I do it to the other side. Just gonna grab my scissors, get me two pieces of, of uh, yeah, look at there. So simple. Just pulled those strings right out. Now it's good and frayed. We're ready to go. I folded it in half, then wrapped it around my book or books. I'm going to just tie it in a simple knot, regular knot. Now it looked fine just like this, but I thought, well, I'm going to cut those edges and just kind of make it a little different. So we do end up cutting them. But I took some lavender, a lavender pick I got at Walmart. I snipped the end of it off just so it wasn't so long. And then I took some twine from the Dollar Tree, hot glued it in one little section, and then began to wrap. And I should have hot glued a little bit as I went because as you see there, it popped open <laughs> and then it went everywhere. So I had to start wrapping again, but no big deal. I just kept going, but I wrapped this all the way down to the end. Now, when I got to the end, I just added a little dab of hot glue, secured that in place and snipped off the rest of the twine. Perfect. We're going to take that lavender and slide it right up underneath that knot. Now, is that not perfect? But like I said before, I, I felt like I wanted to cut these. So it would be a little bit more kind of messy bowish. You know what I mean? Like, and then I did go through and pull the strings on each side of um, this where I had cut so that that would be nice and frayed also. But this was so simple to do. I've done a lot of these books on my channel and... This was just something I wanted to go with this particular collection. I thought it would be perfect. So I just thought I would throw this in there. Hope y'all enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, listen, if you have a chance, check me out over on Facebook. I've got a Facebook page dedicated just to um, to you guys. And then I've also, I'm on Instagram. And that is a great place to connect with me. Now, I like to chit chat on Instagram. I add a lot of um, more personal stuff, but these books are done. Check these out.
And now it's time for the final reveal. I hope that y'all have enjoyed these. I love them. They're perfect for summer. And I just, I love these. that is it for today i hope that you guys have enjoyed this thank you so much for being with me if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share this with your friends and family subscribe that would be awesome and hit that notification bell so that you will know each time i upload a new video don't forget to check out the description box for the link for the next person on the list don't forget to check me out on instagram and facebook Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a blessed day.